I just wanted to say real quickly about those Walmart rubber boots. That takes me back to my childhood when I would go down to my granny and granddaddy grinders in South Georgia. And my granddaddy had a farm and he always wore those rubber boots everywhere he went on the farm. It's so snowy during the winter and then when it starts to warm up, everything gets real muddy. I think it put him into a trance. Alright guys, so I went to McDonald's and I got a medium iced coffee that I've tried coffee there at McDonald's before but not like with sugar-free vanilla like the keto version and I'm telling you guys I haven't tried it yet because I wanted to test drive with you guys watching but it looks so creamy and good they put like the perfect amount of cream in there and I just hope it's sweet enough I'm going to try this in front of you guys so you get to see my true expression after I try this okay bitter or sweet let's see that is really good like I will drink this but I think they could have added like one or two more pumps of sugar-free vanilla. I don't know how many pumps they put in. But if they had put a couple more pumps, it would have been just like perfect. Because I like more of a sweet, like a sweet drink. I think I'm going to wake him up. Because I don't have a lot of time to do what I need to do before Nathan calls me. I just hate to wake him up because it's so peaceful. And he's sleeping. I know you mamas can relate to this because it's just like 
I love Simeon. I love my baby. I love his noises. I love his expressions. I love everything about it. But there's something about when he goes for his nap and you can just try to like rethink. You can just try to like reload your brain and like peace and think. And it's just quiet. It's so nice sometimes. So these guys, I highly recommend. These are awesome, awesome keto snack. Nathan is going to, he's got his clothes, he's going to go change out of his jail clothes. <laughs> Where's Simi? Where's Simi? We got to watch this kid because he runs off. Where are you going? Your preacher jail clothes. Preacher jail clothes. Hey, buddy. Hey, bud. Hey, buddy. So we're going to go into the YMCA, get changed. And, and then go walk outside. We're going to go for a walk. All right, Simi. He's ready. He's so a mess. Smart. But this is my husband's but it works when you're really cold. Is that a little Yorkie? I love. She loves flat faced dogs. I don't know. So we're by the Rockland Harbor. Yeah. It's probably 40 degrees. Probably 40 degrees, yeah. So it's, it's cold. But this where we're headed, right there. It's the best restaurant in the whole town of Rockland. Archer's. Archer's. Archer's, it smells so good. It's, it's an amazing restaurant. Right on the pier, you have a beautiful, beautiful view. Yeah, so if you're ever in Rockland, Maine, looking for a, you know, $20 a plate per person type meal, right there. That's where you go. That's how it's done when you forget your toddler's coat. <laughs> Alright, let's show my dream house, why don't we dad, huh? So my dream house, y'all, is that one! <laughs> it's a modern farmhouse and it's so cute. I love the black window frames. Porch. I do love the modern farmhouse look of this place. I would do the garage section a little different, but yeah. the I other part is fine. Swings like right there on the end. One of those hammocks. Absolutely, swings. they probably have that, but Maybe they probably they put it out in the summer. yeah, probably summer. Yeah, the balcony. Wow. The doors. And y'all, the view is that's the view. Another very beautiful home. Shine says that's the second dream house. <laughs> Again, black window frames. They got a wood door for a garage. It's very nice. These are the awesomest, awesomest loafers. I love these shoes because they're so easy and convenient. Especially this time of year when it's like mud everywhere. You just flip them off, rinse them off, and you're good. All right, we are, I think, done with this walk because my ears are starting to get a little numb. We gotta go to Walmart, though, and pick up those photos. Cheyenne did some hour prints at Walmart, so we're gonna go pick them up. Yeah, I was, I've was. i been needing to get some photos from my mom for her frames at her house, and I just have so bad about doing that sometimes. So I've got her an eight by 10 of uh, the family and a five by seven of Simi. Park your part to you. I'm not glad it's warm. Cheyenne, what's wrong with this picture? Well, I like to sit up straight when I'm driving. <laughs> God have mercy. Who wants to be lax like that? Uh, me. Not me. You gotta get an exit or something about that life. We printed this off for my mom and I didn't notice when I got in the car. Simeon, what are you doing? <laughs>
Okay. I didn't notice till we got in the car, but there is a black ink spot on Nathan's forehead. Just right there. Tell us all about it, son. Tell us all about it, buddy. Don't hold back. Are you getting camera shy? You've just been jabbering and jabbering. Yeah, you tell us. Yep, tell us. He is going into the store to get some hamburg for supper. Okay, now to go cook this so we can eat these together. Cheese and cooked meat. <laughs> Yum, I'm excited. Hamburgers. Hamburgers on the grill, Mr. Tinsley. Go 275. I'm gonna cook these burgers a little bit slower and get more smoke flavor on them. I can't say this enough how wonderful it is to have a wood pellet smoker. I mean it's just amazing. So that may not be very healthy, but I could just like bury my face into that smoke. I love it. Okay, shut the lid, let it get warm. So he just said mama so clear. I have never heard him say it that clear. It was so sweet. You want to say it again? Say mama. 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 I guess not. <laughs> okay. I mean, teriyaki. Can I do this one handed? Hmm? Oh. You get a shell? A wee bit of a shell. <laughs> okay, I've just put a little Worcestershire sauce in there. I'm going to put a little soy. Not too much. And teriyaki. Mm. All right. The egg acts as a binder. All right. Well, thinking about it, I wanted to show you guys my spring curtains that I got up the other day. They look so good. So you may be wondering, I leave my grill down at my in-laws house, uh, which is not too far from the motorhome. And the reason I do that is because I can leave it in the garage and it's protected from the elements, the weather and so forth. It keeps it looking basically brand new. So that's why I'm headed down there now to grill. cut up some onions here and now I'm going to put some butter, oil, and a little bit of olives in there and cook this on the grill and this will cook down and we'll put this on top of our, yeah buddy, burgers. we'll put this on top of our burgers. So there's the butter, a little oil. Cheyenne's going to clean up the mess and I'm going to take this to the grill. <laughs> 